Hey, hey guys, hey, welcome back to the channel. So today I got something really close to what I shot before. I got a different military helmet here. So let me show you. Here's the helmet. It's pretty thick Kevlar. missing some of the pads and stuff that would go inside it but this is really close to a fairly modern helmet you see some of the kevlar there so i think what we'll do what i usually do you know start out with a 22 we'll shoot with a nine millimeter work our way up until uh we get some penetration Okay, first up, we have the Smith & Wesson M&P 22 Compact. Alright, so that 22 hit right here. Flecked off a little bit of the paint. Barely discolored it. Didn't have a chance. Yep, next is my new gun. This is the Sig Sauer P365 XL. I have a Romeo Zero red dot optic on top of there. Came from the factory that way. Let's see how she does. Okay, so our nine millimeter hit right here. Looks like it almost made a hole, but it didn't actually go through. Inside kind of made just a little bit of a bulge there but it did not go through. All right, next up we got the 45. Looks like, a, oh. what is that, a 1911? Uh, yep. Sweet. Let's see what it does. All right, 45. Nailed it. Oh, 45 hit right here. Put a pretty good dent in it. That's the most blunt force. See, just a little tiny bit of a bulge on the inside. No penetration. So next up, 44 mag. 44 mag. Boom! So right here is our 44 magnum hole. Here's the inside. Didn't see any other holes here or any damage, so I think it actually got stuck. Man, it was close. It wanted to come through. So you know what we got to do next? The 50 AE. Boom! All right, so here's the hole from our 50 AE. There's quite the bulge going on in here, but there's no hole, so it stopped it, but uh, probably had a, quite the headache. All right, so next up we're going to switch to rifles. I got the AR-15 here, loaded up with some 5.56 green tips. These things are meant to penetrate. First shot went through right here. Skidded right along the pad and barely missed the back. So I think we're gonna have to shoot this one one more time with that 556 five, and see if it'll go through and through. Alright, so here's our second shot. That was our first one. The second shot was a little higher and the helmet was sitting a bit more level. Oh uh, yeah. I'd say that one went through and through. Next up, got the old AK. AK 76239. Let's see if it can go through both sides. 
Ooh, nice poof. So just looking at that helmet there, uh, it appears that it went all the way through. Here's our new entrance hole. And there is the exit hole. Needless to say, they stop most handgun rounds, but if uh, someone's got a rifle, don't get shot in the head. Last up, we have the largest diameter round. We have a one ounce shotgun slug coming out of a 12 gauge. It's moving a little bit slower. I wonder if it's gonna uh, go through there. <laughs> she went airborne. Okay, so that 12 gauge slug hit right here. Actually went in, came through all this Kevlar and hit right here and deflected off. So it will go through at least one side. Quite the wall hanger now. Well, hey, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Hope you enjoyed the episode and uh, make sure and check out my other episodes on the channel. And just a little tease, you may have noticed there's a hot water tank here. This is what we'll be shooting on the next episode. It's all filled full of water up to here. So uh, what do you think guys? Bulletproof water heater? Maybe, maybe not. Tune on the next episode. Should be coming at you soon. Thanks for watching.